Welcome back, folks. It is a wonderful Sunday. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's jump right into the forecast. As we take a look at those weather headlines, we're going to notice those temperatures are still close to those seasonal averages. So we might be a few degrees below, but it does look like those averages are just around those low to mid 90s still. But that cloud coverage during the early morning and those late night hours is what's going to give us a little bit of a decrease, especially when that sunshine is out. And those humidity levels are still kind of hovering a little a bit above what we're used to but as we get into the work week we've got dry air moving on in and that's going to give us well a little bit of a, a chance for some fire risk that fire hazard is definitely going to be elevated as we get into the early work week and I will mention we do have a chance for maybe some more showers some more monsoonal moisture to move on in for Thursday and Friday at the end of this week but we'll get into that in just a second because right now I want you to get outside and enjoy that sunshine if you can we'll take a look at that future forecast that high pressure system still giving us that warm air in that dark orange area along Colorado, especially that eastern Colorado area. But we'll notice off the west coast, Medford, San Francisco, Los Angeles, where that light yellow is. That could be moving on in that later work week, like I mentioned, to give us that chance for some possible showers. But before that happens, I want to recommend you try and get outside, enjoy those UV rays because it is the middle of August, folks. Definitely going to start decreasing in those temperatures, start decreasing in that, uh, well, sunshine as we get into those later months of the year. So with that in mind, uh, UV rays are up. That increased elevation means decreased ozone. More sunlight every day and those longer days, even though the days are starting to get shorter and shorter and shorter. So definitely try and get outside if you can. And our dry climate means there's less moisture in the atmosphere, even during this monsoonal season, because, uh, well, as those storms move on through, the western slope gets dry super, super fast. I'm sure as most of you know, if you live here along the western slope. So apply sunscreen higher than 30 SPF, even if you feel like you might not need to because of that cloud coverage, at least 15 to 30 minutes before you head out and about into the sun and every two hours after you're already in the sun, unless you're swimming, Unless you're hitting the river, unless you're hitting that lake, then reapply every time you get out of the water and wear hats, sunglasses, long sleeves to protect your skin, protect your eyes, and try and stay in those shady areas from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So when you're out about, try and find those trees, try and find those pavilions and stay safe. Now, monsoon season, like I mentioned, it's not just one certain storm. It's not just one certain event. It's collective wet and hot season, typically from the middle of June to late September. So we're kind of getting towards the tail end of this season, uh, but it's still quite possible. So tip to your dogs during monsoon season, especially after all that heavy rain this past weekend, and we're looking forward to maybe some possible rain this upcoming weekend. Keep away from those tick infested areas. Keep away from that dirty water. Use protective rain gear. Deworm your dog and keep that outside water bowl clean as well as make that cozy thunderstorm safe zone in case they're afraid of those loud noises. Our almanac will show us a few degrees above what we're typically used to at 93 for that high and 64 for that low. Now the extended forecast is going to show us uh, well, that 98 degree, 97 degree temperature tomorrow uh, as we get into Tuesday, 94, Wednesday and Thursday, 93 and 92. We'll notice on Thursday that chance for showers might be rolling on in, but we'll continue to track that storm system for the western slope as it moves on in to see if we're actually going to receive any uh, accumulation of rain.